guys, Terry Hansen with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care. I'm here again with Maddie. Uh, she's the almost six month old Sheepa Doodle, and uh, we've been working on the sit. Now we're going to work on teaching her the down command. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate her collar so that the leash is coming out from the bottom. With the sit, we have the leash coming out from the top uh, because you know, we're using leash guidance with food luring and we were pulling up for the sit. Now we're gonna pull down for the down, all right? Again, we don't use a command in the beginning. Uh, we just get them doing the thing that we're looking for and then we add the command later. We attach the word to the thing they're already understanding. So at this point, for a down, I'm going to lure her into that position using her food. I am not using treats, I'm using her food. As soon as her belly hits the ground, I'm gonna click and let go of the food. Yes, okay, so I had food in my hand. Break. At this moment, I'm not pulling on the leash. I'm just luring, getting her understanding that laying down is what gets her the food, okay? Yes, good girl, break. Again, I'm not walking all around. I'm just getting her up and getting her right back down, okay? And when she's doing that pretty quickly, yes, break. I'm going to start adding some leash guidance into the equation. So the reason, you know, I'm luring her into a sitting position before I start taking her into the down, yes, is because um, I'm not saying sit, yes, break. I'm just luring her or waiting for her to do that because uh, she's already halfway down. Her butt's on the ground, right? It makes it easier for her to go into a down if she's already halfway down. Later on, I'll have her downing break from a standing position. But at this point, this is brand new for her. I want to make it as easy as possible for her to get it right. Yes. Break. All right, so now I'm going to add a little bit of leash. So I'm just getting up here by her collar and very gently I'm going to pull down as I lure with the food. Just a little tiny bit. Yes. Break. Yes. Break. And I don't care that we're not moving anywhere. She's just sitting up and then going back. All I want her to understand is that if she feels that leash, it means to lay down. Yes. Break. Because right now I'm luring, but I want to transition to away from luring. To reward. Luring is bribing. Again, nothing wrong with that in the beginning. A bribe is fine to kind of get them understanding how do they get the food, right? But I want to get away from that and onto strictly leash guidance and then rewarding. She does the thing, the food is nowhere in sight, and after she does it, click and the food appears. Break. Good girl. Good girl. So now I'm going to start leaning off. The lure. Yes. I'm just moving it a little further away. Break. Yes. Break. So I'm starting to rely more on the leash. Yes. And less on the food. Break. And she's getting it pretty quickly. She can smell it. Yes, it's just not right by her nose. Break. Yes. All right. And right now I'm bending down, but in a couple more reps here, I'm not going to bend down. Break. I'm going to use her leash like a pulley. And you'll see that. 
maybe after this, this rep right here, because she's doing pretty well with the leash, right? She's understanding, oh, if I feel that leash pulling down, break, it needs to lay down, and then I'll get some food, right? So, okay. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Gets her where you can see it. The leash is coming off underneath, okay? I'm gonna drop most of the leash down. Now, I'm not standing on the leash. I'm standing on my heel, and I'm gonna pull with the leash. I'm still gonna use the food. Again, as soon as her belly hits the ground, you hear me clicking. Simultaneously, I'm releasing the pressure from the leash. Break. But you're gonna see in a few minutes here, or a minute or so, this is gonna allow me to stand up here and not have to bend down. going down, I am taking up the slack. So it's a, she feels a constant downward pressure from the leash. Break. Go ahead. I'm trying to keep her in a position where you guys can see. Again, really important that you don't step on the leash because otherwise you won't be able to pull it. Just from the, the um, video with the sit, and she's kind of looking all over the place, you notice she's a little more, a little more focused now on me. transition period. Yes, because I'm not right there with the food and I'm not bending down, right? Right? So it's a little bit transition. By the way, every time you change something about what you're doing, they are very visual. So she's watching everything. It's not just about the leash. She's watching uh, where my hand is, how I hold my body, what's the leash doing. She's noticing all of that. So every time I change something about what I'm doing, it throws her off a little. Right? Uh, it changes the, the picture, so to speak. So she has to kind of figure out what, what do I do? How do I get that food? What does all this mean? Yes. Good girl. And you know, she's whining and stuff. It's not because she's, nothing's hurting her by the way, important to know, right? She's just like confused, doesn't know what's going on, what do I do, how do I get this food? Maybe, you know, a little frustration, that's okay. She's figuring it out. She's using a lot of brain power right now. You can see the wheels turning. So I'm still getting, you know, some resistance. So I'm not adding the command yet. I wanna, I won't add the command until I can just break, barely touch the leash and she goes, oh, I know what that means. And then she's going into the down. And that might take a bit, you know, down is one of the harder uh, uh, commands for them to learn, you know, it's putting them in a submissive position, so. You might even get, yes, good girl. 
You might even get, um, you know, your dog might spaz out and freak, throw a little temper tantrum. And you're thinking, oh my God, I'm hurting my dog. No, they're just pitching a fit. Okay? So hang in there, be patient, and your job is to show them also that you're not giving up, that you're teaching this thing. Yes. And you will see if you are patient and persistent and don't let those things stop you, right? Um, that your dog eventually is just like, oh, okay, I guess we're doing this. Yeah. And by the way, you get praise and food and loving when you do it, right? You know, when you're learning something new, you a human, yes, it's not easy. You will struggle. There's, you know, some stress involved, right? Whenever you're learning something new, right? But that challenge, that stress, that, that you know, what you're going through, once you get there, once you've learned, builds your confidence, right? You now know something new. Yes. Now, if I wasn't talking to you, I wouldn't be saying anything to her other than yes and a good girl, right? Right. I'm not, I'm not having a conversation with the dog. I am physically and with, through the leash and with the food. Uh, but I am not verbally chatting up the dog. Yes, now we're getting there, okay? So it's good for you to see the progression. Great. Of her learning. Yes, good girl. Okay, so that one was super easy. So I'm going to do what's called jackpotting which is giving her more food for that one because I barely touched the leash and she started to go into that down. Good job. So she gets a jackpot, right? Which is food, 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 food. So she goes, oh, hey, I got more food for that. I'm gonna do that again, right? Doesn't mean she necessarily will, but after a few of those, she'll figure it out. See the difference? Now she's like, boom, I get that. So I'm gonna give her another jackpot for that. Good girl. Good girl. That was a repeat. And sometimes you, you know, they won't do it again that way for a few reps, or sometimes they'll do it that way several times in a row, and then the, the next time they're just like you're you know, you're putting the turning on the leash and they're just kind of sitting there not doing it. That's that's normal. Great. So now I'm going to add the command. Good job. Great. Right. So I'm going to get the leash in position, but just before I pull on it, I'm going to give the command. Okay, leash is in position, no tension. Down, pull it on the leash. Yes. jackpotting her because this is awesome how quickly she's going down but pretty soon that will be the expected response when I turn on the leash right and I will go back to just giving her one or two pieces of food great but right now down yes good girl good girl now down is a duration command down which means it's a command that we teach them to hold for hours, okay? Uh, periods of time. Could be five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, but up to hours, yes. All right? So we have to build up to that, obviously. Right? But it's the same uh, you know, process as we talked about in the sit, although we never have a dog holding a sit for hours. Um, down and place commands are commands that we do teach them to hold for hours, okay? It's part of them learning 
it's part of giving them a job to do. It's also part of them learning how to kind of do nothing. I mean, they are doing something. They're holding the command, which burns mental energy. But uh, it's also being okay with being settled and kind of just chilling out, right? Great. So now... Down. Yes, good girl. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily right away be adding that duration, but I just want to show you. All right, she's in that now. I'm clicking reward for her, not just popping up. Your dog might try to pop up immediately, right? That's okay. Do more drills and then very slowly add in this duration, okay? Yes. All right. So she's holding, I'm rewarding, right? Then I would add in, like, take a step. Yes. I moved, she didn't, I'm rewarding. Yes. Right? This is duration and distraction. Yes. Also notice that I'm marking, yes, out here. I'm not clicking and rewarding when I get back to her. I'm marking the fact that I moved away. Yes. And she stayed. Because again, this is an implied stay. I did not tell her to stay. I would never tell her to stay. I'm teaching her down means to down and stay. No matter what's going on around her. This is just the very beginning. Yes. Yes. Now, again, if she were to get up, I would simply say the command and use the leash to guide her back in position. beginning of the down command, right? Um, again, your dog might be easier, it might be harder. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the main thing is your patience and your persistence and your consistency, using your leash, um, having the right tools. Um, we use prong collars and I'll do a video on why we use prong collars. Um, they're the best collars in my opinion. Uh, they look like a medieval torture device, but if you know how they work, uh, they're actually the best, best collar there is. So, uh, again, this is Maddie Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care. Uh, this is the beginning of the down command. Try it. Try it with your dog. Not just try it. Do it. <laughs> do it with your dog. The down command is a great command um, because, again, they can be taught to hold that for hours. Your dog can't be getting into things if it's holding a down command. It's holding command, right? Can't be jumping on people, chewing on things, peeing and pooping in your house. Can't be doing anything but holding, anything else but holding command. Um, that doesn't teach it to not do those bad behaviors. You have to teach it not to do those bad behaviors, but um, it does keep them, uh, first of all, it burns mental energy, uh, gives them a job to do, which is fulfilling to your dog, um, and you know keeps them in one spot and also teaches them uh, how to just be chill, right? That they don't always have to be going and doing and playing and chewing on things and getting your attention and all that. So um, it's awesome. One last thing. When you are doing duration with your dog, duration, even if it's just for five minutes in the beginning before they fully learn that down means to down and stay, you want to tie them back. This is a very simple way to tie the dog back, which simply means the leash is tied back to something, something sturdy. Right? So if she was, she's on break right now, but if I commanded her into a down and she was at the point where she's starting to understand she needs to hold that command, not if, <laughs> when, when she breaks command, which simply means to move out of position uh, before you release them, she can't get anywhere, right? She can't go very far. Um, and that's what we want her to learn is, you know, when I give you that command, you need to stay in command in that spot where I told you to stay. So, you know, let's say I was, whatever, making some, some coffee or something like that. I could put her in a down, not at this point, but in a few days, I can put her in a down, tie her back, and I can do some other things. And I will. That's a way to work on her learning that even though I'm moving around and doing things, she's got to hold that command. The moment she starts to move out of position from wherever I'm at, I'm going to say down, and I'm going to walk back over and just put my foot, you know, little, little leash guidance back into position right where I told her to down. Not over there, not over here. I'm gonna bring her back to the spot 
where I originally uh, gave her the command, okay? Uh, and that's going to help her learn over time that she does have to, what down means, means to down, lay down, and stay down in that spot where you put them, okay? So, uh, don't, even when your dog gets pretty good at it and, you know, still in training, right? Um, tie back, tie back, tie back. Be really consistent with those. It's not forever, but it's in the, in the beginning of training, and the beginning of training can be months, right? Consistent, so the dog knows, oh, I can't really get anywhere, and you're just gonna put me back in it anyway, into the command, right? So I might as well just chill out, okay? That's another place you gotta be really consistent, because if they get up and get somewhere, that's a win for them. And then, you, you know, maybe that happens a few times, and then you go, oh yeah, I should be tying them back. Well, they already got some wins, so they're gonna keep on trying now. Be consistent with your tie backs from the beginning and you'll have much more success, okay? Eventually you won't need this, but you know, speeds up the process of them learning to hold the command in the area of the spot where you told them to in the first place, right? Anyway, this is Maddie, Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care. Again, if you have questions, post them in the comment section um, and you know, happy to help you however we can. All right, take care.